Ukraine's new government will pursue a course of the most radical and tough reforms, Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk said on Tuesday. He said the former government had cut spending on government staff by 2 billion hryvnas or 133.2 million US dollars, and the budget for the next year would further reduce these expenses. The government has optimized social expenditures by 4.5 billion hryvnas, 299.6 million US dollars. We shall follow the path of optimization next year, he pledged. At the same time, in his words, defense spending will be increased by 119 billion hryvnas, 7.923 billion US dollars, and this course will be continued in future. Seems new Ukrainian government prefers war and not take care about social expenditures. Claims by the spokesman for the Ukrainian National Security and Defense Council, Andrei Lysenko, about presence of Russian military in Ukraine are devoid of any foundation, Russian Foreign Ministry spokesman Alexander Lukashevich said Tuesday. Lysenko is well known for catchy statements, Lukashevich said. His allegations about some Russian military in Ukraine have never had any facts to rely on. Earlier, Ukrainian National Security and Defense Council spokesman Andrei Lysenko has said that Russian special forces are taking a direct part in the attack on Donetsk airport. Kalashnikov, Russia's legendary firearms producer, has revamped its corporate image, unveiling a new CK red and black logo, a new slogan, three streamlined weapon brands and its own survival gear. The colors were borrowed from the flag of Admurtia in western Siberia, the region hosting Kalashnikov's main facilities, the company said in a statement. The logo is accompanied by the company's names written in Russian. The firearms producer also had a new slogan, or rather two different slogans. In English it's protecting peace, but in Russian it's translated as weapons of peace or weapons of the world, depending on which meaning of the Russian world mir is used. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin has approved a law ratifying an agreement with Kazakhstan on military and technical cooperation. The document was published on the official web portal for legal information on Tuesday. The accord regulates mutual military supplies for the two countries' armed forces, law enforcement agencies and security services. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.